Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro today. I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade the iPhone 4 to iOS 4, 5, and 6 today. So let's get started. In order to downgrade the iPhone 4 to iOS 4, 5, and 6 is, first, we're going to go to Safari and download the files we need. We have a bunch of choices here for the iPhone 4 3,1 model, 3,2, and 3,3. For the 3,1, we can do 4.0.2 all the way to 6.1.2. For the 8 gigabyte model, we have 6.13. For the CDMA, we've got iOS 5 and 6. I'm going to be doing 4.0.2 for this one. We're going to go over, click the three dots, download as zip. We'll also need the legacy kit, but we need to do one full download at a time. Otherwise, it will say file too big. The downloads have now completed. Now, we're going to drag both files onto the desktop. All right, there we go. Now, we're going to close out of Safari. Now we're going to unzip those files here. All right, with those files now unzipped, we're going to go into the legacy kit folder. There are the files. Now we're going to go in terminal by going to launchpad other than terminal. All right, now we're going to drag this file restore.sh into terminal. Press return. And if it asks you to access your files in your desktop, click Allow. All right, now it's going to ask you to install the command line developer tools for the program to work. Click Install, Agree, Continue, and no, this will not take many hours, about six to ten minutes. And the software was successfully installed press done. All right, so now we're going to connect our iPhone to the computer. There I go. Now we're going to run the command again by pressing the up arrow key. Return. All right, there it is. The iPhone 4 now shows up in terminal here. And yes, I did use this tool last night during testing to downgrade it to iOS 6. Now we're going to select the first option, restore slash downgrade. And now you get a bunch of other options. Now we're going to click other. We're going to click yes to continue. Now we're going to go to the desktop then find the file of iOS we want to do that we downloaded. Click the first one, the custom one. Then we're going to send it into recovery mode by selecting yes. And there we go. All right, there we go. The iPhone 4 is now in recovery mode. Now it's going to ask us, do you want to enter DFE mode? Click yes. And now we're going to enter DFU by pressing the top and the home button for eight seconds here. Now release the power and keep holding the home button. All right, now it's going to ask us which tool do we want to use to enter phone DFU. Select the first option i ponder and there we go it's now going to start restoring the device there we go see the device just lit up all right there we go the restore has completed now we're going to press the up arrow key to run the command again. 
All right, now we're gonna use the down arrow to select the third option, just boot. And now, this next step is very important. If you enter the build version, it will not boot. You have to select the IPSW for it to work. Press return. Now, we're gonna select the stock IPSW. Press choose. Now, we're gonna select the third option by pressing the down arrow key. Just boot. Now, we're gonna go ahead and press yes to enter DSE mode. There we go. We're gonna select iPonder again. Now, it's gonna go ahead and boot the device up. There we go. Now the device will boot. There we go. All right, there we go. The iPhone 4 has now booted. And if your iPhone does not show up in Finder, we can actually use the legacy kit to activate the iPhone. I press on the up arrow, return. Now we're going to select the third option. Attempt activation. Press return. All right, there we go. The iPhone has now been activated. All right, so for any iOS version from 4.0.2 through 5.0.1, you will have to press attempt activation and put in a SIM card to activate it. If you're on iOS 5.1.1 through 6.1.2, or 613, depending on the phone model you got, you'll just do the normal slide to set up. But if that gives you activation issues, you can just use the inbuilt act activation part. All right, so that is how you downgrade the iPhone 4 to iOS 4, 5, and 6 today. There it is, 4.0.2. So that's pretty much it for that, this video. If you like the video, give videos on the same video. Peace out.